Okay, this rock I have here is my dinner plate. Um, I went hiking the, um, today and I just found a perfect plate and we only have one plate and I was like, what perfect use? I could use a plate so much right now. And then I went and washed it with my hands because I didn't have any brushes or soap. But it was just great. It was great. I really enjoyed going out in survival, just going out into the wilderness and pretty much killing off the rest of the, the team members except for the jury. You just gotta, you gotta make them so they like you. The winner of Survivor Hellroaring Plateau, Taylor. I was not able to bring the prize home because I am, I choke under pressure very, very often. And so, uh, I know that was why I didn't do well. Hey, I just... I, I don't know if you can figure out what it is. Uh, she, she definitely knows Survivor. I, I, that was my first tribal council I'd ever, final tribal council I've ever experienced. Like, I didn't even know what I was supposed to say. When they said, state your, why you should win this. I, I really did not know what to talk about. And I could, you could definitely tell, so Taylor's watched multiple Survivor seasons and knew what to say, how to say it. Like she even knew this whole Survivor motto. You just want to focus on the three aspects of that means to be sole Survivor, and that is outwit, outplay, and outlast. I didn't even know that was a Survivor motto. I, I went home and looked it up when I got home. She was correct. I should have said, um, how, you, um, it's obvious Taylor's here because she won four in a row, um, but if you look at me, the only individual challenge I've won, or not individual, the only challenge I've won individually was handball. And so I didn't win any individual ones, and I'm here, and Taylor, the only reason Taylor's even here is because she wins. And I could, if I would have won, if, if she wouldn't have won one of those that she won, she would have been out. That was the plan the whole time to get her out. So that's the only reason she was in. If I would have stated that, I believe I would have won. Uh, actually, I was not really playing the game of Survivor for almost half, more than half the time. I was just doing what Connor was saying, because Connor knows his Survivor. And so what I was doing is just doing what he told me to do. And then once Connor got voted out, I think he got voted out and then and then we had to sleep and so the whole night I probably I barely slept. I was just thinking about strategy on how to I thought through every possibility of what to do. And so like that I just wanted to get revenge for people voting out Connor. That's what my well, that's where I started playing. I really I really liked talking. I really liked it when cold cold told the camera that I I didn't have as much endurance as everyone else and I was going to get out very quickly on like the third episode and then I made it to the final two and I just I thought it was great let's see I know Becca talked about me in like the second episode I did not I did not enjoy that one how she told it blamed everything on me and then Taylor Taylor's been talking about me about how I just don't play very well and I I don't, I disagree, like, people are saying that she's the only one that's really playing. I don't think people realize that I'm actually in it, too. My original plan, not knowing any survivor, was to go out there and kind of be myself and make jokes and get people to think, like, kind of like what Cole was talking about, like, I don't have as much, I'm not good enough at the game. And then people just kind of write me off, except then be thinking through a strategy, get a strong alliance, and be el eliminating people out like while they think I'm not playing at all. Becca, she got out right away, so I didn't really get to know much about her. Jordan, she is a, uh, a alcoholic might be one. She, she enjoys alcohol. Um, Paul, drummer, I know that's true. Uh, also probably an alcoholic, I, yes, alcoholic. Mar Martha, Martha, yeah. I did not like her on the camera. Or, or off, I guess, but I just find, I don't know, she just bag talks that. She's, she said that I gave away information and that I'm just 
I'm a goofball and just don't know how to play the game. That really did, that made me mad because the information I told them, I thought through what to tell them, kind of so they would get, like, trust me. And, um, and the information wouldn't have helped them out at all. Like, I told them where the idol at our camp was. They can't go over there and find our idol. Plus it was already found, so. I don't, I just don't like Martha very much. She, she talks quite a bit of crap about every, not everyone, I guess, her alliance. She thinks she's everything. She thinks she's the perfect player. Holly's more of a follower just because she follows Martha to her death. Rachel? Mm. Attractive. Um, kind. Backstabbing. Oh, I almost followed it up with mean. I can't say, can't do that. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm dating Rachel right now actually, so. Wow. JJ, he's very nice. I really like JJ. He's a guy you can trust all the way through. Taylor, ooh. She is very good at the game of Survivor. Um, I very, I respect her a lot for it. Um, I don't know, she just, she plays very well. I love you fans. And they loved me. And actually some of them hated me. But some of, some of them liked me. I really, I really enjoyed having them all having them like me. To all of my haters, I don't understand what I even did. I I tried to make the show, I tried to bring humor into the show, and I tried, I just tried to play play the game, and I, I don't know why you hate me. Why, why are you against me? Run! It smells, it smells. Get out of here. Go.